So is Boris toast or do you think he's clawed it back now? No, I don't think he's toast. Um, I, I mean, an awful lot depends on what Sue Gray comes up with. And, you know, I'm not saying anything very original there. Um, but I do not think he is necessarily toast. Uh, and indeed, I don't think he should be. I mean, you know, we've got an economy that's got to recover after COVID, record NHS waiting lists because of COVID, Northern Ireland to sort out um, the, the Ukraine. This is not the time for foreign leaders and civil servants and everybody else not to know who the prime minister is going to be in a few months' time. It's just you, instability. Yeah. People have to grow up. Government is a very serious business. It's not just party games. Well, we say people have to grow up. Has Boris Johnson got to, got to grow up? I mean, he has this reputation of being the king of chaos and he seems to thrive under, under chaos. Um, I don't know if he's a man who you would say you could work under. I don't know. I mean, you strike me as someone who's very efficient, very pragmatic about things. He doesn't look to me to be the same type of person that you are. Well, he's not. And he, and he is utterly chaotic. And I don't think there's any argument about that. But the nation knew he was utterly chaotic uh, when they voted for him uh, in 2019 and voted for him with an enormous majority because of his promise to get Brexit done, which he has at any rate to most of the extent. I'm not pleased with all of it, but he's delivered. Uh, and uh, so we knew he was chaotic at that time. I knew he was chaotic. He's never been organised. He misses events, or used to. He's got diary secretary these days. But it, totally chaotic. I don't think there's any argument about that. So what I would say to Boris is this, look, you're not going to change. You are chaotic. You are disorganised. However, you have staff, and what you need is a really good behind the scenes, not out in the cameras talking, behind the scenes advisor who will just keep your affairs on the straight and narrow 